Welcome, from the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now before we get started there is a couple things that we'll need. Number one is a cable that comes provided with the device, uh, so the one that I use for charging. Uh, you want to get the specific one, it's Type-C to Type-C as you can see. So both ends are the same. And the other thing that you will need is another phone. Now, phone at least with the Type-C port. For this I'm going to be using a Samsung device, uh, again uh, this one is a Note 20, so just a lower version of this one. And uh, if you're using a non-Note uh, device, so for instance uh, any kind of other device, some Huawei, whatever it is, you'll need to download the app from Play Store. And the app is called, let me quickly check it, uh, so it's the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile as you can see right here. Have it open right here so you will need to download this app if you're using a non samsung device if you're using a samsung like me uh, you don't need to download anything so from here once you connect to uh, your network you want to progress through the uh, setup of the device let's go to the uh, you, uh, to the verification the google one and from here as you can see we're going to begin now the process by just clicking on the field and tapping on the three dots and going to YouTube. Let's skip this, tap on it again, continue, and this will open up uh, YouTube or a couple like different videos. And from here you want to tap on the arrow itself. This will take us to YouTube. I'm going to quickly close it. Uh, video is irrelevant. Uh, so once you're on YouTube, you want to go to accounts, help and feedback, and then and describe your issue, type in get and should pop up with get started with uh, voice uh, vo voice access select that from here tap on change google app settings scroll down to location extend it scroll down to google app location settings then choose delete your location history and tap on location history and this will open up our maps so from here tap on skip it will open it up again without the skip option so tap on back and we should be done in the uh, google maps from here tap on this uh, not the search bar my bad i tap on the go and tap on ok to enable the location and choose your location that's okay and then to select whatever whatever place it doesn't really matter probably the easiest way to select location would be just some kind of restaurant uh, it doesn't really matter where that restaurant is located i just select the first one even though as you can see it's in a different country it will still work for this so once it finds route choose start got it and it will begin so as you can see it started uh, started the route and also gave us the option for the microphone right here so you want to tap on it and then say open settings as i will do right now Open settings. Opening settings. And as you can see, it opens up settings. From here, scroll down to accounts and backup and tap on smart switch. Tap on download and it will start downloading it. Even though it's not really showing anything, it's actually downloading it right now. Once it's finished, it will automatically open it up. So while this is happening, we can take the cable and plug it into our other device like so and just have it ready on the side from here choose agree uh, allow and now we want to select that we want to receive data and it's galaxy android so one of those two and we're gonna be doing it through cable and as you can see there it is opened and waiting so what you want to do is now the unlocked device the one that you're using for this uh, you want to unlock it and if it's non samsung i would suggest to open up the app if it is a samsung device then just completely don't bother doing anything and simply plug it in so as you can see now they're connected and on this device i'll move this one to the side on this device it shows me that uh, what i want to do so i want to send data and again on this one we're basically done so bring up the locked one to view 
So when you choose to send data, it, we need to allow. And there we go. Now again on here, tap on allow. And you can see both of them are right now connecting and basically gathering everything that is on this device. So once it's finished, you can see that it gives us a list of different things we can transfer. I'm going to grab it in my hand. So as you can see, uh, by default, it will almost select everything that it can. Uh, what you want to do is deselect basically everything and then reselect settings and home screen. Like so. Scroll down and tap on transfer. And now it tells us to unlock the other device. So we're going to go to here, tap on copy and verify. So I'm going to use a pattern. And that's about it here. So I'm going to move this device to the side. And now it brings up with the hi. So we need to log into a Google account. Now this account is the same account that is on this device, the one that you're using for this purpose. So simply use the same account that is on the unlocked device. So I'm going to put in the password for this one. Then choose sign in. And as you can see, it will now start copying data. Now by logging in with this account, it will overwrite the previous account. So let's wait a moment. And there we go. As you can see, it's complete. So tap on go home, home screen. And let's back out. So we can unplug it. Okay, so let's can go to the setup right here. As you can see, account added. So it's the same account that we have basically we had on this device. And it overrid the previous one. And let's tap on don't copy. Next. Now, as you can see, it popped out with account added a couple of times. As regard that the uh, device is a little bit uh, right now unsure what's happening, but that's okay. From here, skip, skip anyway. I'm gonna deselect all of this and tap on OK. Again, let's skip this. Finish. Now, again, the, all the device is completely done. We don't need it anymore, so I'm just gonna kind of unplug the cable and. Uh, Get it out of the way. Okay, yeah, so once you're on the home screen on your device, what you want to do is go to settings. And from here, scroll all the way down to general management, reset, factory data reset, and choose reset, delete all, and the process will begin. Now, once you do it, through here and uh, reset of the device it will remove the existing account that we have basically just added along with the previous account that is still more present on the device and still in a way lacking it so once the well, the reset is finished it will remove both of them and because of that it will also then unlock itself so let's wait for the process to actually finish now this will take about a minute to like five minutes so i'll be back once it's finished And as you can see now the process is finished so i'm gonna go through the setup process fairly quick just to save on time but at this point you can set it up as however you like by adding all your email addresses uh, signing into google connecting to wi-fi whatever you want you can do it now i'm gonna skip wi-fi connection And there we go. As you can see, there was no need to verify anything. I could skip everything that I wanted to, and everything was optional here. 
and by now the device is fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.